Hey folks, um, this is the back uh, of the previous page. It's page six up here, and, and you can see I've got that right there, right? Page six. And um, hey, anytime you see a mixed number and we're needing to multiply or divide, in this case multiply, turn them into an improper fraction. Then look to see if you can cancel in common factors. That'll help you out so much. And then you can multiply straight across. 2 times 10 is 20. Then we add the 1 to the 20 and we get 21. Still the denominator and put that underneath it. This is a negative mixed number, so you might want to just go ahead and put the negative sign down here for your fraction. That way you won't forget it. Don't think of it as 5 times negative 1, think of it as 5 times 1, so 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2 to the 5 would then make it 7. But again, because this is a negative mixed number, it should be a negative fraction. And now we can just steal our denominator, that 5, and it comes right down here. Is there anything that we can simplify? Well, 21 and 10, no. The negative 7 and 5, no. What about the diagonals? 21 and 5, sadly, no. What about the 10 and the negative 7? No. This is one of the few times where there's nothing to simplify. So now we're just left having to multiply straight on across. We'll get negative 147 on top because 21 times 7 is 147, negative, and 50 on the bottom. And we've gone through this quite a bit uh, with our adding, subtracting, make this improper fraction into a mixed number. 50 can go into 147, a total of 2 times. But this is a negative fraction, so make sure it's a negative 2. And uh, we've got 47 left over. And still the denominator, 50. We'll do the exact same thing over here. I almost forgot the negative sign. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down here so I don't forget it this time, just to make sure. And this time, we actually do catch a little bit of a break. I can't simplify any of the regular fractions, it's just it's not working, but what about the 4 and the negative 18? I can divide both of them by 2, so this will become negative 9, and this 4 is going to become 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Multiply straight across, we'll get 81 over 10, that is an improper fraction, so Let's just come down here and make it to a mixed number. There we go. That is how we multiply mixed numbers, whether they're negative, positive, etc. Just remember, here it is on the recap. Always rewrite your mixed numbers as improper fractions. Cancel the common factors is highly, highly recommended. If not, you can jump straight into multiplying straight across. But if you don't turn them into an improper fraction, you will get the wrong answer.